So today we're looking at Thai Friendly and we'll be going through some tips and tricks. The link for the full article as well as the signing up process for Thai Friendly has been added below. The first tip is to ditch the naughty talk. Inappropriate conversations often do not work well on Thai friendly. In addition, in Thai culture, these types of conversations very rarely work. On a psychological level, women want to feel desired but don't want to feel sexualized. Be different but in a good way. It's always recommended to stand out but for the right reasons. This is a good philosophy of life but also works very well when dating in Thailand. Many singletons believe that they need to act weird or random to get attention but this is not true. Being a confident, positive and driven individual will often serve you very well when dating in Thailand. One of my passions is learning about online psychology and understanding why we say the things that we say online. And even though it's important to show the real you, it's also very important to stand on the side of caution about online conversations. This is because online conversations are without tonality, and tonality is very important for both English and Thai communication. Hence, without tonality, the real message may be taken away from your sentence. Many singletons, unfortunately, are time wasters. We have all met these characters, some people who are looking for followers, attention or just bored. Therefore, whoever you run into, it's always important to bounce back and not take anything personally when speaking to people on Thai Friendly. Be aware of scams and catfishing accounts. Each week, there are more new and more sophisticated dating scams. So always be very cautious on the side of scams and catfishing accounts. 